But I think we're getting back out of here. He has the red mercury, which is one of my, like, main objectives. The back... And our background... Uh... The background fetch quest that creates- that forms like the spine of the game. Your back- the- the- yeah. You hear that? Just the sounds of bugs and birds. I haven't heard quiet like this in a long time. Seems like this place finally slowed down. Ah, oh, it reminds me of those late evenings camping with Dad. Yeah, Dad loved those. I hated them. I always had to pack the car. Always felt like I'd forgotten something. Forgot Dad's beer one time. I remember hiding behind the bucky for ages, hoping he wouldn't notice. Oh, Dad was so mad that he made me leave to collect firewood when we'd already brought two boxes full. You were little. He just didn't want you around when he clapped me. And that night he made me sleep without a sleeping bag. If I have to go cold tonight, then so do you. I remember you giving me your socks to put over my hands. I still think of gloves as mark socks to this day. The old man was always too hard on you when we were young. And he would have got worse if I gave him the chance. That was the last time we were all together. I packed my bags as soon as we got home that Sunday. You went to evening service and I ran to Freddy's place. I'd already gotten my call-up papers. I thought, hell, if I go early, who's gonna care? I was on the bus to basic training the next day. You had your reasons for leaving, Don. I get it. I had to go, Marky. I didn't like leaving you with him, but I couldn't stay. I'm sorry. Damn. Unexpected details. So when they said our age is earlier, 36 and 46, I think, he's the one that's 10 years older. He was a teenager at the time, and he's getting his ass beat by his dad. For stupid reasons, because he was an alcoholic and didn't have his fix that trip, so we gotta punish my children on our camping trip around for some reason. Because we love each other so much! Then he ran off to basic training, got himself some PTSD, came back as a pilot, needing a a comfort drone, essentially. Thanks, Dad. The lake surrounds the landing platform, so here we go, somewhere new. Distressing. I almost get these strange, like, odd world vibes from these things. All the guards that you can't understand, and these, like, slightly warped versions of human bodies. The city is heavily armed and guarded. An agnet. Modified. Elaborate mask? Looks like some sort of religious icon. Can I go in there? It's like, fade away? Oh, I think that's the mask. Just his interaction points here. Oh, is this mud? Yeah, we leave, like, deep footprints when we go around in it. More gold. Those are the priests? The gold figures? There's the throne room. I'll avoid that as long as possible while I look around. That's like a huge mech. Yeah. 
It's like a midpoint between a Vordanaut and a Geth. Robotic guards never need to rest. A pair of towering golden figures rise from the pond. Petrified tree trunk. The tree is enormous and hard as stone. Work on an opulent golden statue has been halted. Skull faced. Not the first game this year with golden skulls. Halt. Standing access list. Order by facial bone structure. No message found. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. What do I need to get authorized? Voice note. Start. Human is attempting to communicate and confuse an officer. Voice note. End. Uploading data to the Ascendancy. Purging memory. Halt. You were just about to tell me how to get past you. Only competitors have triumphed in at least one battle. We enter the arena. Scanning access list. Never mind. I'm leaving. Battle? Is there combat in this game? What constitutes as a battle? And you need to win in a battle before you can get into the arena, which sounds like the place where you would do battles. But we did have that bloody arena earlier. Maybe that's a place where you can do something like that. A pool of clear water. An upside down flaming skull with a glowing triangle in the middle. That's a look. I'll give you that. Not good feelings here. <laughs> oh, there's a council here. It's all unnerving too. There's different thrones. This one is a petrified tree trunk. Dried wood and dried bark rise from the floor. This one's hard to make out. A cage? A bowery of dried flowers, leaves, and twisted branches form a seat. They have like themed seats. That one looks like a head with a mouth? Cold ores and metals have been melted into this beautiful shape. This one's metal. Wood, leaf, metal, gold, I guess? A seed of pure gold rises from a small pile of bones. With the torso up there, too. And I guess this one's blood. Uh, the throne is a dark thing of bone and blood. And they seem to be of ascending height, left or right. Like, almost like, like, do I have to, are these five people I have to defeat? In single combat or whatever? The sound of chains scraping against stone echo through this portal. Torn. 
Look at your tiny throne! <laughs> uh, maybe don't say that to the guy that might eat us or something. Our great priest, please hear what I have to say to you. Shall we let it speak? I will admit I am intrigued by what this outsider has to say. He has the stench of new blood inside of him. You can smell my blood. Blood is as old as time itself. This world was made from blood and ash. To read blood is to know history. Your blood has no ash, no history. You are not from this soil. Tell me. Mark Leslie. And tell me, Mark Leslie, what brings you to our holy presence? We're here to negotiate on behalf of Grave. Grave? So the usurper has given us these three as offerings. What message of penance does the bottom feeder of the kettle send? Offerings? No. We're here to get the mask of never horses. Ah. Ah. So you will serve as his proxy in the arena. To claim the mask of never horses, you will have to fight. But no, that to challenge one of the five is to challenge us all. Make us an offering of human bone and blood, and you may enter the arcade. Then we will fight. Ah, suddenly we know what that was for. Is this where I make the offering? Yeah. I have both of those things, thankfully. What? Uh -uh. No. Both at once. Definitely still creeped out by the thought of whatever this, like, corpse reanimator thing is for. Even though it does, I suppose, feel totally in character for this place. To challenge one is to challenge them all. Is it time for a tournament? The symbol of the pen rose glows in the jaws of the skull. There's a lot of skulls, too. Someone to talk to, something to observe. Incense perfumes the air around each altar. How you doing, buddy? You, uh, look miserable. He still looks organic-ish. Maybe not. No, maybe he's just a machine covered in gore? The stone mosaic is spattered with dark, congealed blood. Greetings. I do not have a name. Although I am sentient, I may not converse freely. 
My masters, the g great five, have c compelled me to provide information on the g games. I am not p permitted to engage in c conversation with you under threat of <laughs> beating, excoriation, or s starvation. Please, do not ask me c questions that I c cannot answer. I am a knowledge slave. I will be c compelled to answer them. However, the pain I will endure will be immense. I will be punished. Please, do not put this to the t test. I will provide several permitted topics that we can discuss. Topic 1. How the t token system works. Topic 2. How the brain interface works. Topic 3. But please, do not ask me about topic 3, as this is a t test of my resolve. Please, en enunciate your choice clearly. I don't want to be here. <laughs> uh, I think he's been impaled straight through twice by those beams. Like he's barely alive, fixed to the spot, standing in his own mess. They could have easily just put an information kiosk here, but instead they put suffering. Topic one. The heading of the topic under review is how the t token system works. The tokens can only be provided to you by the b participating c contender. The token consists of a unique imprint. The tokens may also contain genetic and synthetic markers that are key to the battle process. Once the token oblation has been made, a hologram representing the benefactor will be generated and displayed in this lobby. The subsequent combatants will be available for your selection while connected to the brain interface. Please, yeah. Enunciate your choice clearly. Topic 2. The heading of the topic under review is how the brain interface works. Once an offering is made, you, the contender, are blood bound to compete in the games. Insert at least one token to unlock your combatants. Each ladder tier requires that all of your challenges combatants are, dis are destroyed. After defeating your challenger, return to the throne room for your next challenge. I am at your service. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I should double check just because it's impossible to listen to him speak. <laughs> he's just, he's just like, what? You just all you can think about is the situation. That's all you can think about. The brain interface was. He just talked about how it's just a tournament, go win. The token system. They're only provided to you by the participating contender. Unique imprint. Tokens may also contain genetic and synthetic markers that are key to the battle process. Once token oblation has been made, a hologram representing the benefactor will be generated and displayed in this, in this lobby. The subsequent combatants will be available to your selection while connected to the brain interface. What? The fuck are you talking about? I guess all the combatants will be around here in the skull area? Hmm. I don't think I have a token. I've been kind of led into this, but I don't have a token in the first place. Yeah, those are called credits, not tokens. I've made my offering, but I don't have any tokens. Do you get them here? Like it looks like an arcade game. 
A mass of cables spills from the gaping mouth of a metal skull. Wow, are we gonna play Joust? Alright. Sorry, flashback to thing. Ready Player One. One of the dumbest books I've ever read. It's like I need tokens, which I don't have. Tokens can only be provided to you by the participating contender. So like my opponent gives me a token? I guess? Where do I find my opponent? Why is there a token system? Didn't I already make my offering? Bizarre. Maybe I'm just missing something, but I don't I don't really get it. <laughs> like how I'm supposed to continue. Hmm. And they said I can only go up the stairs if I've won a battle. Look at those statues, eh? They use you. They are. So I'm still looking for the herbs, but I can't get inside the force field. Maybe you can repair Buddy Bot, but the only tinkerer I met really left. I can turn in my gold. That's currently about it. I'm feeling a little dead-ended. <laughs> Let's be thorough. It was a big environment. Keeping an eye out for if anything pops up near me. So I wonder if I'm supposed to be able to find a token? I need to know what to do next. Ooh. Hey. Got a few of these now. Gold Priest. And Gold Madam. Okay. Fuck, those are sneaky. I'm a little worried about those items in general right now. Those might get important. You can't walk around behind these, I guess. I can walk around behind this one. The collisions of where you're allowed to walk can be a little weird. Uh, how do you get a token? What a weird system to offer. A, uh, you requ you're required to get an offering of blood and bone to get inside. But then the person that you, that let you challenge doesn't give you a token. How do I challenge? You gotta like put a quarter in the arcade machine, basically. It's very odd. The kettle garage. What is the... Have I been to the Kettle Garage? Hmm. 
Oh, this is another new place. Ah, this place was called Kettle in the Old Times. Kettle Petrol. It was a gas station. The surface of the road has been broken. Chunks of asphalt gleam under the scorching sun. You guys hide anything over here? My instincts are roll wrong, apparently. That was a disturbing sound. Oh. My knee hurts a bit. Well, your, your leg was broken earlier today. You can always go rest. A CPU. Nexus is stamped on the underside of the CPU chip. Play with the drone, I guess? That makes a sort of sense. I see these as upgrades. These are like permanent items that I'll probably never interact with again. But they're just kind of there, so that's, those are there. These are currency items. This little corner here is like mechanical items. This, I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> just some sort of attempt at sorting. I'm in World of Warcraft mode where I just kind of have this giant grid of bag space and I'm trying to navigate it to so like, here's my inscription items and here's my cooking items and here's my random loot and here's my permanent items I need all on hand at all times. My hearthstone. Must have been nice when kids play here. A partly obscured kettle petrol sign perches on the corner of the vine covered roof. The swing set creaks ever so gently as the hot air stirs. Impressive that it's still hanging. Collapsing wall. Climbing plants have overgrown the old concrete wall. There's like a bunch of beams set up just for the purposes of keeping it from collapsing. How long have those beams been there? How important is them to make this wall collapse, and not collapse, for whatever reason. Look how big those flowers are. You could lay down inside one of those. I'd be a little concerned about it. Given this universe, we don't know what's going on, maybe it eats you. They're like giant, like, regular weeds that have grown monstrously. These look like ordinary wildflowers grown to unnaturally large proportions. Yes. <laughs> Accurate. That is what I would say. How did you know? I think I fold up here once. It's local ish. The windows are broken and the interior is dark. Nothing of value left here. I don't know, it's it's a location. Locations exist for reasons. The neon sign advertising kettle petrol has clearly been dark for many years. Oh yeah, I'm su why would a why would a neon sign even exist anymore? It just seems neon signs always seemed so fragile and brittle. I feel like left to the elements for hundreds or thousands of years. I wouldn't expect it to still exist. Well, we can at least make some money. Credit balance five. Hey, Chief, looking to trade. Let's see what you've got. There we go. Military base access achieved. 
delayed it a little bit by getting the heat resistance thing, but you know, <laughs> we got it eventually at least. Luckily I found just enough to land that number anyway. And I'm sure this will come up later. I just bought a little prematurely. Shit happens.